excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. As you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. If you're the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. How about some Bruce Ladies Buffett? and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 158 pounds. Magnifico! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce, the Dragon Lee! All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Let's go, guys. Right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Of this. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. He got the turtle in that kick. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Strong defects here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Man, is 
he timing his shots well here tonight, DC? It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Nice head kick. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Oh, straight right. Oh, big left hook there. Knee to the body. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick. Somehow managing to land it so much more. Takedown defense holds up. Boy, Ty Plum. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Look at him with his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Slips the punch. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Nice jab, follows up with a nice right hand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Single collar tie now. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. And they separate. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Well, eventually you know he's gonna turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. He expect counter as we go forward. Straight punch land. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Dig and kick. Big body kick land. Oh, upper cut counter. That'll leave a mark. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Ten seconds now to go in the round. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a tough one to even be on his feet right now. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of time. Let's go fight, guys. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Nice loop and punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. 
he's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Ooh, what a punch. And he switches his stance yet again. And there comes the separation now. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Unable to connect there. Nice body kick. He blocks the punch. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Big head kick lands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big kick. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Straight right, he misses. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there, nasty. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Look at him at trying to shut the liver down. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Looking to counter with his left hand, but he misses. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Great punch. Goes back to that left kick once again. Leg kick. Oh, huge block! Whiffs on the right hand. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landing. Caught that kick there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Nice kick. Now a kick to the body. Gotta check these low leg kicks. Beautiful strike. Another shot lands upstairs. Nice head kick. Another good stick to the head. Round three next. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, 
And eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Third round underway. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Throws the right hand there. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Checks that leg kick. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very oh, active. Late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Caught the kick. And just misses with that big right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Beautiful body kick. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, you're going to shut your body off. Three minutes now to go in this one. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Real nice body to play. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Lands a big elbow there. So a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. All right, single collar tie now. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Oh, nice. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but he does not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Hands up. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. That's a big strike right there. Punch to the body is blocked. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. 
lot of top pressure being applied here. Might be a submission attempt here, Sam. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Clustering up now. And now the damage is about to start. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Good stick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Real sneaky body kick. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. A little single collar tie there. Would you look at the ball? Goes to the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. He gets caught with that punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice, nice. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Just missing on the high kick there. Head kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, big punch lands. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Lee. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, wow, oh! Oh! He might get a finish here! The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Well, he's got his back now. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Under two minutes to go. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Now oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, 
Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some real good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Thirty seconds remain in the round. Seconds left. Allows him to get right back up. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but did not react quick enough to secure top position. All right, so just like that, back to a standing position. We will see who has the advantage. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody will going to sleep. We dominated them that last round with ground control. We want to keep that going. Let's get this fight to the ground. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down with a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. Sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Big head kick land. Oh, that's a good right hand. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Yeah. That punch no good. Big body kick. Punch is blocked. Oh, collar tie. Liver kick. What a punch. All right, so it lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. What a body kick. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate. When he decides to attack, it is a sight to behold. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Ooh, nice move to the body, just what he needed there. Oh, what a this fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay in the course, he mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got to hurt very bad. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Oh. And they separate. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Big kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. to go in the fight. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Big kick land. Just misses there with the left. 
what a punch. That came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night as that landed. How about that shin? Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Right idea, wrong execution. The counter right is no good. Connects with the right. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Trying to establish that jab once again. Straight to the body there by Lee. Beautiful leg kick throw. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. 15 seconds. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Big punch land. Ooh. What a fight. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others. And his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. Looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Magnifico. All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. He should be very proud of his performance.